Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I am going to be doing a highlight and contour video. In this video, I am going to be using the My Sculpted Face Palette from It Cosmetics. This was sent to me for review from It Cosmetics and I have to tell you, I am quite impressed with this palette. There are six colors that come in this palette and what we have here on the lighter shade is this is what you're going to use to highlight. To the right of that, is the highlighting shade which has a shimmer to it and that is something that you're going to use to create more of that highlighted cheekbone that highlighted brow bone you want to lift you want to have this beautiful glow at the tip of your nose this beautiful glow at your cupid's bow that's what you're going to use then beneath that you have about four different shades now you can use some of these shades to highlight underneath your eyes versus what i did depending on what color you guys have in terms of your skin tone now there's two other darker shades at the bottom and I don't want you guys to be afraid to use these. And the reason being is that when you play and you get more comfortable with how to highlight and contour, you're gonna be okay with using this darker shade and you're gonna know how to manipulate it and how to make it look natural on your own skin tone. It's just trial and error. I hope that some of the things that you see in this tutorial today are going to actually give you more confidence in highlighting and contouring because I know how scary it can be. So let's just get right into the tutorial so I can show you all the details on this awesome palette. Okay everyone, so first thing first, I really do not like any type of heavy contour because the reality of it is that not everyone wears a heavy makeup application on a daily basis. So to begin, what I have on my face today only is in terms of foundation is the LC Micro Silk Foundation and this is in the shade Sand. And underneath that for my skincare, I have Rodial's Pink Diamond Instant Lifting Serum. I have the Reparative Moisture Emulsion as my moisturizer for the day, which I really love this. So in terms of underneath my eyes, I like to use a concealer. The one that I've been turning to right now, just because I'm at the end of summer, is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. You've heard me discuss this um, on my channel a few times, and I have a review, and I'll put it down below on that. When I want my eyes to appear more bright, I always do this method. You can use a Precision Tapered P86 brush to blend in the concealer, or you can just go on with your finger. Either way would be fine. So now if you lift the concealer, this is going to highlight also under your eye. So that's step one. Now, if you're not crazy about this concealer and you want a little bit more coverage, what I could recommend is the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer from It Cosmetics. This is a very highly pigmented concealer. It's a lot thicker than the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I'm gonna put this over it so you could start to see how I am going to change you know, the pigment under my eyes. And a little bit goes a long way it has definitely a creamier and thicker texture. So you see how bright I am already on this eye versus this eye. So this just has the NARS Radium Creamy Concealer. This has NARS Radium Creamy Concealer plus Bye Bye Under Eye, and you can see it already lifted my entire eye area. We are going to set the under eye area because that's going to create a more bright and open effect by taking an tapered highlighter F35 brush so I'm going to go in with this first color right here. It's a white. It's a flat white. So this is going to brighten the under eye area. And basically, I just tap it. And then you want to bring it down a little bit right here. Because if you're going to highlight, you want this main area in your face right here to appear more bright. That's what's going to let your eyes open up. It's going to lift here. So it's like almost getting Botox done without having it done. This gives you that illusion. You can also put the highlight, the lighter shade, certain areas here to create this pucker, right in this area, and your brow bone in a couple other ways. So now when you're going into a little bit of contour colors and you want to create that depth in the side of your face, here to have a more chiseled cheekbone or you want to do your nose. There are four deeper shades in here 
And depending what your skin tone is right now, um, you know, I say start off more natural and then build it. And again, I go in with the P84 Precision Angled Brush. And I'm going to start by going in with this shade right here. It's second from the top on the left hand side. And then from here down, I just start to build a line. Now, the good thing about these colors is that they're very soft. So these are very easy to blend in. This is such a pretty color. You could even use this as a blush. And I'm going to start to contour. So basically what I do is I take it from here and I go down. Nothing too harsh because you do not want your nose to look fake. And I'm just going to put a little bit right here. Now I'm going to take my ring finger. I'm going to go in with the white shade. I'm going to bring it right down the center of my nose. And now I'm going to start to thin out my nose even more. Now what you could do is you could go back in with the P84, that same color that you have, and just define it a little bit more. And you could come right here at the bridge. And if you want to soften it, you just take your fingers and soften up the line right there. If your forehead comes up higher than mine and more back, what you want to do is you want to really contour that area to bring it down. If you highlight the area, it'll bring it more up. I'm now going in with the 3D HD Kabuki brush from Sigma. What I like about this brush is the fact that we have two sides here. And when you, they're kind of like indented. I'm going to take this color right here now. And I'm just going to put the brush and tap it right into it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to contour right up here. Take it to the jawbone. And this brush really makes it so easy to do this. You want your jawbone to be more pronounced because this is going to create more of a chiseled cheekbone. So let's just say you want to create more of a chisel to your cheekbone. What I'm going to do is take this darker color right here and you could go in with the 3D HD Kabuki brush or you could go within the P84 or if you guys really want you could go with the IT Cosmetics Velvet Luxe Soft Sculpting Brush and this will actually get the definition right. So what you would do is you would go in the deeper shade, you would drop that color right down. Now you see how much deeper it is? Now I'm not bringing the line all the way down, I'm focusing it more up here. Because you want this part of your cheek to lift. Now I want to blend it in, going back in with the P84, and I'm actually lifting the brush. I want to bring the color up. See when I turn my head a little bit this way, you start to see there's this, this dark, darker, more chiseled effect. That's the look that you're going for. I'm going to go back in with this lighter color right here, again with the Velvet Luxe brush. I'm going to put it in here, and now I'm going to define this area. I'm going to go right underneath. So now you want to get a little creative. You go back in, you take that white shade, and you're going to put it right here. I just created more chiseled appearance. If we take it one step further, I'm going to go back in with this shade right here at the bottom. This is an E40 brush. And if I bring the depth right in here, it's going to allow me to thin the nose out even more. And you're connecting it from the inner portion of the lid right in here to where exactly you were contouring on the nose. So this way it could thin out the nose even more for you. You can see the little bit more precision right here. Now if I take this and I bring the color in here, I'm starting to manipulate my eye shape to change a little bit. I'm deepening it, deepening it. So it's coming in more like that. This is such a great palette because it's really so soft, it's not super pigmented. It makes the, this highlighting and contouring super easy. Now there is a shade on here that is a highlight this one right here and I'm gonna take that you can use your ring finger I'm gonna take that I'm gonna put it down at the tip of my nose as you can see it starts to get highlighted and I'm gonna just kinda of like gently rub that in now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it right here to highlight then what you wanna do is you wanna highlight your brown bone you could even use your ring finger don't be afraid to use your fingers. Then what you can do is you can also take the highlighter 
and I'm going in with another tapered highlighter brush and I'm going to take it right here and I'm going to apply it right above my brow bone and that is going to lift the brow. Then you want to put a little bit at the cupid's bow. If you don't want to use the tapered highlighter brush, you go in with your finger. Go back in with the P84 and this shade right here. This is for those of you that want to go the extra step and start to add a little bit more definition to your cheek area. Then you're going to want to blend that out. And you can go back in with the Velvet Luxe brush and again, you want to push up and you just gave yourself more of that apple-y looking cheek. So when all this is said and done, you want to go in with the blush. I'm going to go in with the F10 brush from Sigma and I'm also going to go in with the Live Beautifully brush from IT Cosmetics. This is the number 227. I'm taking the blush Hot Mama from the Balm. Now, let's just say you want a little bit more contour. You want to build. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back in with these contour colors and you're going to start to actually lift it right in here. So this is how I do it. Take this shade right here and I'm going to apply it to the top of my cheekbone. This is going to give you depth. This is going to give you more of a contour. Then I'm going to go back in with that deeper shade right here and I'm just going to bring it to the top. So there's continuity. So you have your contour colors, your highlight colors, your blush, and then you're bringing it up again with the contour colors. Then you're going to want to highlight. So now you're going to go back in with this shade right here, and I'm going to go in with the Live Beautifully 227 brush. I'm going to tap it in, and I'm just going to go right on top of the cheekbone. Okay, and now you're going to start to see that there's going to be this beautiful highlight. And if you don't want to use the brush, you could just use your finger and bring it right up here. I'm just going to add some lipstick and then we're done. So now I'm a little bit closer so I can show you guys what it looks like. If you could tell you have your highlight, you have your contour, okay? And then you have your highlight again down here. This gives you the definition in the face to allow the contour to lift. We're going to do it again on this side. As you can see, I have my blush. I have my, first I have my contour line, then I have my blush, I have a little bit of the two contour colors, that lifts. Then I have my highlight, that makes the cheekbone just look more luminous, and then I have my highlight in the brow bone. I have my highlight on my nose. I have thinned out my nose a little bit to give it more of that chiseled look. So for those of you that do want to uh, thin out your nose, this is the step that you would do. Then the other thing I did is I just highlight it under here. That is to kind of bring it more in together to give you more of that pucker on your lip. And then I also highlighted right here. I did contour underneath the jawbone because you want continuity. So if you're gonna co contour up here, you wanna also contour down here. It's almost like doing a backward C and that's how you could do your bronzer as well. So what you would do is you would take the color, bring it down, come around. That would be a fast way to do it. Okay everyone, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the My Sculpted Face Palette from IT Cosmetics. Please let me know, as always, if you have any questions, I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you so much, you guys, for subscribing and watching, and I hope you really enjoyed this video. I'll see all of you in my next one.